went to the fridge this morning and I found out we have got a quarter of the uh, cabbage, quarter of the uh, cauliflower, two carrots and one corn on the cob. So I get them all out and salted them or baked them. But you've got to bake them nicely. You've got to make sure they are absolutely baked. Not cooked in the boiling water, baked. I guess so okay. Or oven, put them in the oven. So this is what it is. I'm going to leave it like that. Turn the heat down. And uh, I'm going to have this vegetable with couscous and chicken liver and some people might say oh chicken liver but you wait for me and i'll show you that this is absolutely delicious what you got to do you got to get a good chicken liver i mean very good chicken liver and what you got to do you take it out with the chicken kitchen scissors and you get rid of everything which is not chicken liver all the fat bits of all the blood of and everything else and you chop them in a small pieces small pieces and then you run it under the cold water and leave it leave that one until it gets really drained and you turn your frying pan on in a quite a bit of heat this is this is a very very quick dish very quick it's not more than 10 minutes after you baked your vegetable which is i said carrot cauliflower cabbage and corn on the cob it won't take long so i'm going to put my frying pan in here put get it really hot it's got to be hot your frying pan and then i'm going to put the chicken liver which i cut in small pieces in a dry pan first so what i'm going to do i put it in a dry pan first because chicken liver it doesn't take long to cook but what i'm going to do i cook it in a dry pan for a few seconds one clove of our garlic which I chopped it does this dish doesn't need it shouldn't the garlic be crushed it's got to be just chopped a little bit of salt few ch chili flakes If you don't like it hot, you don't need to put the chili flakes in. While this is doing, This is doing nicely. My vegetable is doing nicely. And I'm going to dish the couscous. As I said, the measurements for couscous and rice and pasta, it is my hand. 
If I'm hungry, I open my hands a bit. So you hold more couscous, rice or pasta. If I'm a little bit less hungry, I close my hand for couscous, rice and pasta. So this is one person that's two person so my measurement for couscous rice is one hand for per person I put on the side I go back to my chicken liver is doing nicely my vegetable is doing nicely too I cook the, uh, of course, the uh, roasted or uh, salted your vegetable until you know it's right. It's got to get nice brown on your vegetable. If it doesn't, if you boil it, it doesn't work with this dish. It's got to be salted or baked. So I would be cooking this one about 40 minutes in the uh, in the oven and now i've got it i'm just going to dish up as soon as my couscous ready i'm going to dish up so that was another five minutes for left so my chicken liver is getting just ready in this time just at this time i'm adding a little bit of olive oil is kettle boiled so what I'm going to do I got my couscous in here for two people I'm just going to pour some water and just cover it not too much and then with a cloth just cover it and put something on top of it so steam will trap in there few sec few couple of minutes it should be okay so the liver is getting ready now what i do in this stage when i know the garlic got a smooth beautiful the chicken is lovely and cooked i get a little bit of soy sauce and put it in there just the one two teaspoon is enough and always always with the soy sauce use a little bit of lemon juice somehow it brings all the taste out of the chicken liver onion and soy sauce what i'm going to do i'm going to turn this off now because the chicken liver is ready and I'm going to get my dishes I'll go to my couscous gently lift it it's ready this course doesn't take long this is what i want is as what i want and what i do as soon as i get to this stage i get it out and pour it all over my vegetables And 
I always say that, taste it. Don't leave it until you put it on the table and you feel you've got to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper or chili. So I'm going to taste it. It's fine, but you need a little bit of salt. This is ready. Everything is ready. I'm going to dish the chicken liver first. As you can see, is coming up beautiful. my couscous and vegetable so the vegetable I had you you can do it with any vegetable you like I had this vegetable in my fridge and they were getting a little bit old so I used them cauliflower carrots and cabbage and I had one corn cup you know but it's not a recipe you don't need you can't change the the, the ingredients you can change it whatever to whatever vegetable you like and uh, it absolutely works so my dish is ready what I'm going to just do just get a little bit of olive oil Pour it on top of that and this is my couscous vegetable baked with beautiful chicken liver and garlic and soy sauce. I hope you make it and enjoy it.